Good afternoon, Irving High School. This is Wendy Lampara. And Erica Lopez bringing you the news in and around Irving High School. Today is Thursday, October the 8th. Have no fear, the superheroes are here. That's right, Wendy. In honor of Smack Mac Week, we are having a theme dress up week. And today is Superhero Day. Tomorrow is the last day, and we are encouraging students to dress up like their favorite teachers. Musical auditions continue today after school for how to succeed in business without really trying. So show off your talent and see Mr. Brentham or Ms. Gross to sign up. Today during advisory class, students will be working on completing missing assignments. Please take advantage of this opportunity and bring all missing assignments to work on. And now for a very trivial fact with Will and fact of the day. Did you know the first superhero created was Superman? Gosh. In 1932. Superman. That's stupid. Don't give me kryptonite. Don't give me kryptonite. Don't give me kryptonite. He's not even a real human. Gosh. You got killed by a guy. Brought to you by Flash. Batman. Spidey. Keep it snappy, every guy. Doesn't get more trivial than that. Seniors, don't forget that Jocelyn's will be on campus to take your announcement and cap and gown orders today for girls. And tomorrow to take orders for boys. They will be set up outside the cafeteria during all three lunches. Bring your $80 deposit to place your order. Extra packets are in the main office. You can also order your class ring with your announcement and cap and gown order with no additional deposit. Juniors, if you have not yet purchased your class ring, you can order yours at this time also with only a $50 deposit. You may design your ring at www.johnsons.com and bring your printed order form when you order the ring. Sign us for our annual blood drive are this week. If you are 16 or younger, you must get a waiver signed by your parents before signing up. It's a great cause, so if you can, please donate. Remember, donate one, save three lives. Now stay tuned for the word of the day. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Megan. And Lauren. And the word of the day. Today's word is antagonist. Which means rival, adversary, opponent, or enemy. So be sure to come on Friday night to watch us smack our antagonists. Yeah, woo! This is a dynamic duo reminding you that, that two is better, better than one. And the dynamic duo strikes again. In case you missed any previous broadcasts, don't worry. You can always find them at irvinghide.com on our archive videos link. It links to our YouTube channel. Be sure to check it out soon. In other news, students, don't forget to continue to bring your change to make donations for Hurricane Sandy during lunch. Your VP can get pied in the face at Friday's pep rally if your class gives the most. Freshman representative is Mr. Williams. Sophomores, Mr. Plyler. Juniors is Miss Oliva. And seniors, Miss Goodman. So remember to give, give, give all through Friday at lunch. The pep rally will be Friday afternoon. Well, that's all we have for today. So now off to sports with Cody. Good afternoon, Irving High School. I'm Peter Parker. And I'm Leonardo, Michelangelo, Donatello, Raphael. I don't really know. One, one of them. One of them. Today, JV Black and Gold Football. JV Black and Gold Football play at Mac. Freshman Black and Gold Football play at Irving. Girls, Smack freshmen, Mac. and JV basketball have a tournament at Ennis. And girls varsity basketball has a tournament at GP. Grand Prairie. We have some tennis news. They had their district meeting, and the team nominees and honorees are as follows. Honorable mention second girl singles is Elena Farahardo. Second team all district third seed girl singles, Grace Laura Honorable mention. Fourth girl singles, Lara Soto. Honorable mention. Fifth girl singles, Luz Nambo. Boys sports, uh, sportsmanship award, Michael Juarez. And girl sportsmanship award, Adriana Ramirez. Coach of the year is Sarah Keith. <laughs> Woo! A lot of awards. She took on the fall season by herself while Coach Summers was on maternity leave with a newborn baby. She did an amazing job with all the paperwork, practices, lineups, etc. She did amazing. Way to go, Coach Keith. Not to mention all the extra hours she puts in with Tiger Fever, Tiger Guard, and PRS. 
Her hard work and dedication was recognized and honored tonight, and I am so proud. Please congratulate her when you see her. She truly deserves it. Let's give another round of applause. Way to go, Coach Keith. You're debased. Debased. And if you didn't know, this Friday night, we smack Mac, and we're home. So make sure to wear black from head to toe. Blackout. Make sure you buy your tickets in advance so you can save a little money, you know. Everyone likes to save the cash. Yeah. I want everyone to be there. Right here, give me brain ideas. It's okay if you turn up, just don't turn off my light years. All I know is I do it. Good afternoon, Irving High School. I'm Winnie Parr, and I'm here with Coach Latori. All right, Coach. I don't know if you know this or not, but you're a huge inspiration to a lot of the students here. What is something that you can tell the student body here at Irving High School? Well, um, I tell you, just I think for me. I'll, I'll share a story. When I was a young man, especially here at Irving High School, I told Coach Bennett at one point that, hey, I'm going to take your job one day. And lo and behold, look at where I'm at today. Uh, my, my goal was to be a coach. My goal was to uh, get a college degree. I was the first person in my entire family to do that, and I have a very big family. Uh, and I'm even talking about the Hispanic side. We have a big family. Uh, and it was important for me to do that, and, and I think the, the one thing that led to all those things, I also wanted to play college football. I also wanted to go to the NFL. Uh, but I, I willed myself into that, and the only way I did that was by working very, very hard. Uh, because there were many times where people told me, uh, you can't do this, or uh, you're probably not going to have an opportunity to do that. And all I ever begged for my entire life was just give me an opportunity. Okay. What is something that you're looking forward to um, with being head coach here at Irving High School? Uh, the most important thing football-wise uh, is for us to, to uh, make the playoffs and uh, eventually winning a district championship. I think we've shown to everyone without, within our community and within our district we can play good football. Yeah. And uh, we're going to compete with everyone, and our football players will not quit. Uh, from the life side of it, I want to see every one of our football players and athletes that are in our athletic programs, because I'm in charge of those as well, male and female. I want to see them graduate, and I want to see them give themselves a chance to uh, go on and do something else in life. Well, thank you so much, Coach Edward. Thank you for your time. And um, y'all have a wonderful day, Irving High School. Go Tigers.